What we have here is a clear evidence, clear evidence that Muhammad's not getting this revelation from God. Trust me, God knows that there were two different Marys. God knows that Moses and Aaron had a sister named Miriam and that Jesus had a mother named Miriam. God knows this, but Muhammad didn't, and who, the, the author of the Quran didn't know this. And so, yes, this is a massive, massive error. If Sam would like to go into more detail, there's certainly uh, yeah, more um, detail that can be said. What, I, what I'll do is I'll provide the references from the Quran. My brother mentioned it, but again, we don't want to be accused of distorting what the Quran says. I'm going to give you the references. This comes from Surah Al-Imran, uh, chapter 3, and we're going to read from verses 33 to 36. So I'm going to just read the verses so that you can see clearly there's a confusion. As my brother said, uh, Muhammad thought that Jesus' mother Mary is the sister of Moses, making Moses Jesus' uncle, his maternal uncle, even though Moses lived about 1,500 years before the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And here's the proof. Muslims are going to say, you're just making it up, you're lying. Well, okay. Uh, let me quote it. Chapter 3, verses 33 to 36. Allah chose Adam and Noah and, and the house of Abraham and the house of Imran. Allah preferred these families. One of the families is the house of Imran, the family of Imran. Why Imran? Uh, above all beings. The seed of one another. Allah hears and knows. Now notice this. When the wife of Imran, the wife of Imran, said, Lord, I have vowed to you in dedication what is in my womb. Receive this from me. You hear and know. When she gave birth uh, to her, she gave birth to a daughter, she said, Lord, I have given birth to her a female. And Allah knows best what she had delivered. And the male is not as the female. And I have named her Mary. So the wife of Imran had a daughter named Mary. And command her to you with her seed to protect them from the cursed Satan. You go later on in the same chapter, in chapter 3, verse 45. The angel speaking to this Mary the daughter of Imran, the daughter of the wife of Imran, and the angels tell this Mary, you are going to give birth to the Christ Jesus, the son of Mary. That's in chapter 3, verse 45. So clearly, this is the mother of Christ. Now, in chapter 19, verse 28 of the Quran, Surah Al-Maryam, chapter 19, verse 28, when Mary gave birth to Jesus without a husband, the people were astonished and accused her of fornication. So they say this to her, Ya Ukhta Harun, O sister of Aaron, your father was not a wicked man, nor was your mother a woman unchaste. So notice, she's the daughter of Imran, and her brother is Aaron. She's the sister of Aaron. Finally, chapter 66, Surah Al-Tahrim, 66 verse 12. And Mary, the daughter of Imran, who guarded her virginity, we breathe into her of our spirit. Here it's talking about how Mary conceived Jesus. So here she's called the daughter of Imran. In chapter 19 verse 28, she's the sister of Aaron. In chapter 3, verses 33 to 36, she was born to the wife of Imran. So Mary's father is Imran, and her brother is Aaron. The only Mary with a father whose name was Imran, the Bible calls him Imran, with a brother named Aaron, is the sister of Moses. And yet here, the sister of Moses is the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now how can this come from God? I hope that answered your question. Thank you, Sam. And again, I just want to remind our viewers, if you do want to call in, participate in the live show, please call us at 248-416-1300. And we have Brother We Sam on air with us. Go ahead when you're ready. You're on the air with ABN. Uh, thank you so much. I'm the previous person who talked to you uh, okay. uh, a little bit. Very good, very good explanation from Sam and David. Actually, God bless you. God bless you. You know the Quran better than Sheikh Al-Azhar. Believe me, believe me, you know the Quran better than Sheikh Al-Azhar. Let me tell you something else. When God or the, the Islam, Allah of Islam, telling Muhammad for the Sharia, you can marry only four wives. Why Muhammad break the law? Muhammad should be a good symbol for the whole Muslims. That is the question. If the Prophet came with a message, the Prophet has to show to his follower that he is the first one to obey God order. But Muhammad prayed the God order, and he married more than four, which is the allow. He married nine officially, and he has many and many not mentioned in the Quran. Yes. Thank you so much. God bless you, and please, don't forget to speak with the owner. 
to uh, deliver the youth program to the Christian channel. In I Jesus need name. American people to, to, to hear what you're saying. Thank you, Thank brother you so Lisa. much, brother. You By the grace you. of the Lord Jesus, may that happen. Thank you. Uh, just for the Christians in the, in the audience, as well as the Muslims, if they want the reference to know where does the Bible say that Moses had a sister named uh, Miriam, uh, it's in Numbers 26, 59. Let me read it. Numbers 26, 59, and then my brother can answer uh, the question by Wissam. Uh, Numbers 26, 59, it says, The name of Amram's wife, who? Amram. The name of his wife uh, was Yochabed, a descendant of Levi, who was born to the Levites in Egypt. To Amram, his wife, bore Aaron, Moses, and their sister Miriam. Amram's wife bore three children. Aaron... Moses and their sister Miriam. Numbers 26, verse 59. Miriam has a brother named Aaron and her father's name Amran. And the Quran says this is the mother of Christ. Numbers 26, 59. And then perhaps you can answer the brother's question. Yes, uh, the brother uh, brought up something we've been discussing, uh, namely Muhammad getting more wives than uh, other Muslims were allowed to have. Uh, and it's, it's an important question. Why is Allah giving Muhammad revelations, allowing him to have uh, special moral privileges. Well, think about the contrast between that and what we find in the Bible. Jesus uh, lived a life of self-sacrifice. He could have he gone out and done other things, but he lived an entirely uh, moral life. Think about the Apostle Paul. The Apostle Paul says, yes, if you want to get married, you can get married. If you want to bring a wife along with you on your ministry, you're free to do that, but I am not going to. Paul was so dedicated to going out and evangelizing and preaching the gospel, he didn't even want to take time for, uh, for uh, wives, and, for wife and, ch and children. Uh, so think about the difference here. Uh, you've got Jesus and the apostles who are living to a higher moral standard, a life of self-sacrifice, a life of service to others. Uh, you even have Jesus sacrificing himself for the sins of the world. You have the apostles uh, being tortured and killed because they wanted to bring the gospel to others. And then you have Muhammad and the Quran, and Muhammad sits there and constantly gets a steady supply of revelations saying, you get more, Muhammad. You get more. They get four, you get more. Uh, you, they get this, you get more. Over and over again. If this doesn't make you suspicious, what would? If Muhammad had had a million wives, would, you, would, you, would, you, would that bother you? Because what I find is you can point all of these things out to Muslims and they'll just say, well, it's Muhammad. You know, if, if he says that God is sitting around fulfilling his desires, no problem. It is a problem. And we hope and pray that you will come to see the difficulty here. And with that, we will take the next call. Brother Ghalib, you are on the air with ABN. Go ahead when you're ready with your question. Brother Ghalib, can you hear us? You're on the air with yeah. ABN. Yes. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Good. Thank you. Uh, can you speak yourself? louder? Yeah, actually, I'm a Muslim, and uh, uh, I, I'm watching uh, uh, the TV right now. Praise the Lord. And brother. I just heard the, the last uh, uh, part of uh, when you guys talking. Uh, actually, uh, I don't say, you know, I think there is a lot of people who don't understand uh, uh, the religion of uh, Islam. Yes. And uh, 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 this religion allow people, okay, to, to marry more than one person for a lot of reasons, okay? All right. Uh, I mean, a person as, as a man marry more than one time, okay? Uh, we allow, as Muslims, we allow to marry uh, four uh, women, okay? And uh, not more, as uh, what... Uh, uh, the, the gentleman was talking a uh, couple of minutes ago. Uh, Prophet Muhammad did not keep uh, more than four, four uh, women with him. Okay. You are allowed to marry two, three, four, not more than that. But you cannot keep more than four at the same time. Well, brother, th this is simply wrong according to, to Muslim uh, texts. Uh, we agree that, uh, according to the Quran, Muslims can only have up to four wives. Uh, the right. problem is that, according to Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih al-Bukhari, the most trusted collection of ahadith about Muhammad, Muhammad had nine wives at one time. Exactly. Nine he wives had, at no, one time. No, 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 no. I, I think you should, you should read the, uh, uh, 
better than what you or understand better what you understand.